Hi Taurus and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-January 2017 reading. Um, I started out with the Gateway to the Divine cards over here and it was going to be a career or job or money reading and it kind of turned around on me and then over here I was laying the romance in general reading and that had nothing to do hardly with love at all. It has to do with like a lot of internal growth and decision making about yourself at this time, which is really cool because we're in the beginning of the year 2017 and we are bringing in a newness and we want to think about how we want to be now as we step forward because this is the year one of a nine year path. We just ended one and now we get not only January of the year one, but we get to as I speak, can you see the sun is just shining bright? Now is the time to shine bright. Now is the time to make the inner changes. You don't have to talk to anybody about what inner changes have to be made. They just need to be made. And you should go about doing them right now if you want all the wonderful things you want in your near future, which I know you do. Let's just get on with the reading and we'll kind of figure it out as we go along. The uh, career reading then or work, job, money reading, finance meeting, reading, whatever you want to call it, started talking about the cup, king of cups, which I'm thinking, okay, fine. This person wants to run things in a nice manner. Maybe you're currently loving what you do and you're feeling comfortable in that position. In fact, that would make sense because the card crossing you is the sun card, meaning everything's kind of rotating around you in a wonderful way, a way that you would like for it to be. Now, what might be on your thoughts is you're trying to make the right choices. And it's a great time too. You're trying to bring up all those things that you've had to decide about in your life and where you're at now and where we're going to go in the near future. Some of you, not all of you, remember I'm only picking up energies of certain people of the thousands that watch. All right, so at the foundation, there is the moon card. So you're actually kind of lost. You're kind of wondering, as you're creating yourself, you're looking around at dark shadows of yourself and lightness of yourself and trying to figure out what is the right direction to go in and what's going to draw you there. What, Obviously not the dark you're going to go through a major, major transformation if you're not going through it right now. In the recent past, you had the nine of wands. And that is, you've worked hard, you've pressed hard, you've done hard, you are down to the last part of the battle, ready to be finished, but you're saying, I'm strong enough. And it was great, because that was your past card, now you're moving forward, you're really getting in your thought, things are starting to become calm around you and the atmosphere is kind of getting back in a flow and you're feeling good this is giving you time to go in and think about things because in the near future and i think why this is all giving you this time to think is there's going to be a tower card so somebody in the near future is going to cause an incident or maybe what you're doing that you know you need to change that you're focusing on and looking at the light and darker sides of your life path um this is what you have control over really getting into the work really trying to figure out what it is that's going to get me beyond the thoughts of the tower the situation or you know i'm going to use my new favorite cards from the tarot of the hidden realm deck to kind of explain to me Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless me with clearly defined messages regarding the Tower card in the near future position. Please tell us more about Taurus for mid-January 2017. Wow. 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 Interesting. Okay. So the tower card, I'm telling you, this is turning into a love reading, even though I'm trying to stay in the business world. You're trying to put an ending to the past. You're mourning it. You're setting down your axe and you're saying, you know what? I want to do things the right way now. I have a brand new opportunity to create the roots of whatever I'd like in my life. And I'm going to put all my energy there. 
And normally this is a struggle card, but it almost to me looks like I'm going to go within and I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to know after much contemplation that I may have to release some things on one side or release a part of me on one side and go into a different part of me. And maybe the tower is just like it's going to kind of hit you and you're going to go, you know what, I'm, I'm a different person or you're going to head towards and become to the reality that maybe a fiery person in your life, uh, Sag, Leo, or Aries, sun, moon, or rising element may be coming in to your life. And when I asked a little bit more about it, the Hierophant, I love this guy. It's saying, now just hold on a minute. There was a lesson to learn here. This Taurus is really putting a lot of energy into creating something new. And going within to make sure, why not wait and see? Because this could turn into a soulmate connection. Or sometimes soulmate connections are a difficult way to figure ourselves out. And once we do, we finally have the information and we can sit there and take the blessing of the fact that we figured something out about ourselves and put it into action. Someone around you is going to feel down. Maybe you had to move forward in some way in your life or you changed and you said, I'm going to start doing this or that and somebody around you may not like it. Or you may be somebody, see somebody else going through some intense situation and you feel bad for them. Help them to know that these swords are each an experience. They're things that had to be experienced to get where they at, are at right now. So maybe you have a friend who's also going through some changes. And you're learning about life paths and soulmates and how things happen together. You're hoping that all of this is going to lead to, to a wonderful bunch of options. Now, this is getting back to pentacles again. So maybe in the midst of you being happy and thinking about things and things pausing, changes had to be made or will have to be made in your near future to kind of work with someone but also work within ourselves. And to really see what kind of lessons maybe a soulmate situation that comes up has to do with anything. I think this is getting back onto the universe is saying you're going to have many, many opportunities on the job. And one of them is going to jump out and shine at you clear enough that you're going to be awful amazed to see what's standing in front of you or what's being offered to you. And the cards are saying reach out and grab it. It's a blessing from the universe. And to confirm that your outcome card is the Ace of Cups or Coins saying a gift from the universe. It could very well be a very, very good brand new path with money. So, yeah, I asked about in another small reading confirmation about this Celtic cross reading, and it said, yes, there will be coins. This person will be strong and focused and determined. This person will get offers either of love or job and they're going to feel very confident this Taurus about how they're achieving things in life the decisions that they're making in life and who they're becoming this brand new fiery path is I think different than the money path I think this is maybe the position and the money but it could also be a very fiery path like we talked about with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's going to be struggles with this connection. There may be love offered or you're thinking about offering love. And then in between all that, there's some things that need to be worked on with emotions. So you need to race inside yourself before the too much connection comes back with maybe in fire sign. Or you'll be struggling with a job opportunity, fighting inside yourself, and then deciding on a job opportunity or offer. And the cards back there were the Ace of Wands, so that tells that that's where you should be going. This says that path will eventually jump out in front of you and give you money. Very good. So we're going to move over to the... Uh, what was supposed to be the love reading, and this is you at your current moment in time on your life path, some before, some after, we all flow and there is no current accurate time um, in spirit's world. 
calling on your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations may help you bring you together with someone. Maybe that's why your heart was open with your opening king of cups over there. And you're going to feel pretty darn good about yourself. Everything is flowing, and this is where I think we're getting back into life's lessons for Taurus this end of the month, is your crossing cards are saying, allow the situation to unfold. Let everything go on around you. There may be a path you have to leave behind. So some of you may be thinking that they have to step forward in a new path. They've got a get-together on their mind with someone who may be of a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Down at the foundation, you have the trust card. It calls you to have faith. Could be someone that has to do with a job you're at or some kind of organization you're with or through church or at a party or weddings or something. In the recent past, though, there was the excitement and that's what made you even more attractive. And therefore, I think because this one ends with the Ace of Cups with the money, when you get that money, you're going to be feeling yeehaw, I'm looking pretty darn good because I'm feeling pretty darn good. Think about what you want to do now. Okay, so money's good. You figured that out. We need to move forward with love and general life. And you are getting to get to know someone. Now, again, we've seen the King of Cups. So I don't know if you're involved with a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Or that's you really opening your heart like the King of Cups over here. Either way, what you have control over is your love life. It's ascending to a higher level of commitment. Are you going to let it do that? You may end up sitting there waiting for a little while. This is where I'm saying go inside, figure out what it need, what it is you need to figure out. Take some time to be alone and go over your thoughts. Someone around you may just be trying to disconnect from the world. Someone around you is saying, hold up, I got to take and go inside and figure out my lessons. That may be a little what's painful for you to hear or not understand, but remember this is a great time to go within, focus on money, advance yourself, let love lie for a minute. All right, hopes and fears, make the effort. You're hoping that a great love is worth the steps you're guided to take. Here you are, really looking at a beautiful gift that you've plucked down from your beautiful atmosphere at the top of a beautiful canyon with mountains saying, I would love to offer this gift. Are these steps worth taking? Your outcome card says passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, but acknowledge that there are going to be so much, so many confusing aspects around passion. And therefore, that is why we need to take a minute and let some things go and mourn them before we turn around and pick up a couple more and head in a new direction. And we know this new direction is going to bring us great and wonderful things eventually and will fill our heart. But for a while, with another layout of the Rider Waite deck, I see offering something, somebody kind of cutting to the point about it, leaving someone feeling down, someone holding their energy in, not being able to move, trying to find the strength, weighing between decisions, and then having to be very say things maybe people won't like or do things people won't agree with let's see i did another layout here you'll go within like the hermit figuring out what it is you need to understand does it have to do with someone from your past know that that person is being represented by the devil do what is right says justice you right now have the ability in the beginning of 2017 on this brand new one path of nine years to start making whatever creation and new thing like a job or relationship in your life happen. If you're feeling stuck, that's what you need to go in and figure out about before you can go into this new path of love. And will you? It could happen quickly. It would be painful. 
you may hear from someone, there may be an offer, you'll be left wondering, and yes, eventually celebrating. Who is that celebrating with? Was there a water sign now thinking of a fire sign? Was there an air sign? Either way, the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue is saying, there will be complex decisions, the need to do research and stop pro procrastinating. So decisions are going to have to be made. That's just the way it is. The universe is saying some sort of decision. For some of you have to make this decision and move on with your life because we're starting a new path. And the universe is, the universe is going to shove you in that direction if you don't do it yourself. So changes need to be made, Taurus. Seven of Earth and the Lover's Card says... Intimate relationships with the lover's card, but carefully weigh your decisions. Your seeds are well planted, and there is a temporary pause in action. The angels are saying, do not worry unnecessarily. Take the pause in action, go inside, and you will evolve into the high priestess. With Archangel Haniel, it's saying, listen to your intuition, have patience, carefully consider what you want before acting. Very important card. Because the next two things are saying, right now at this time, do like I said with Archangel Michael and get organized and logical at work. Structure your paperwork. Get disciplined with your job. You will find leadership in money. In the meantime, right now, if you pause, wait. Of course, I said you need to make a decision. You're reminiscing about the past. And the past is being represented by something that needs to be let go of. Again. So I asked uh, Doreen Virtue's Rom Romance Angel Oracle cards for two cards to explain the overall tarot card reading for general in love. And you receive Let Your Friends Help You. Ask for and accept support from others. Final card was release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So maybe there are memories from something in the past that is completely screwing everything up. Another good reason to get focused in your job right now and work on getting further and advancing. Um, yeah. I don't think love's going to take place until a little bit longer for a lot of people because right now in the beginning of the path, why toss that into everything when it could be a good time to jump on that payroll and see what you can achieve for your yearly review. And the, the Doreen Virtue messages from your angels card I pulled for the final card for this reading is Angel Desiree and she's saying no, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So again, I think there will be good things coming. I think now is not the time. You're getting the schooling, get education, try and get further on your job. And then there will come a time where you'll be like Angel Athena saying, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. A choice will have to be made. I take it back that it'll have to be too fast because getting to know someone takes some time and you're not going to know about what's going to happen until you take the time. But while you're taking time in general, you're going to see something and that's going to help you make a decision. You're going to see someone deal with something and you're going to try and be there to help and support them. But at the same time, you're going to learn how to figure out what's best for you which direction you need to go. In the meantime, you've got money, money, money. And energy to release from the past. Be strong in the area of love. Let time pass. Good things will come, just not right now. Focus on your work and money. And we'll check back in February. Thanks again for coming to my channel. Thanks for everyone who's come to me for readings and who's liked and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Take care. Happy New Year. And God bless.